Welcome to another short video for SolarWinds Service Desk. And this is how to customize our service portal for single tenant. Service portal is a one-stop shop where we can submit incidents and service requests. This is also where we can track previously submitted incidents. We also place our knowledge articles in here. So we need our service portals to be easy and convenient for our end users and technicians, which is why in this video, I will show how to set up the service portal. We have a couple of ways on how to grant user access to the service portal. The first one is to create and grant requester role. So they will receive an activation email along with the instruction. Second, they can click the Join the Portal link on the account homepage. Third is via email. If the user sends an email, it will automatically create a portal ID for them. And in order for them to retrieve the password, they can just click the No Password on the account homepage. Lastly will be the, uh, the SSO. So if your account is configured with SSO or single sign-on, the users now can access the portal by choosing the single sign-on option in the account's login page. Now let us go to the navigation. To go where we can customize the SolarWinds portal, we just need to go to Setup, Global Settings, and then Service Portal. In order for us to customize the homepage layout, we just need to click on Open Designer. In here, you can add Remove and Edit Widgets. So up on the top, we have here Add Widgets. So if we click this, you will see My Request, Services, Solutions, Custom Message, and custom tile widgets on the home page. Next, if we click the pencil icon, if you want to edit the image and a welcome message, there, and then the background image. Then click on Apply. The ellipsis or the three dots will let you delete or duplicate the widgets. You also have an option to add highlighted services and solutions to your home page. This can display up to five solutions and popular widgets or popular services. So the last step would be saving and then publishing the changes we made so that our end users will be able to see what we change in the portal. So save and then publish.